This is Media Break. Give us three minutes and we'll give you the world. Good evening, I'm Bo Harlan with Rocky Crenshaw and these are today's top stories. Good news for the environment. In Detroit today, the first BS5000 rolled off the assembly line. Rocky, it's a methane-powered car that actually runs on manure. Well, there's certainly lots of that around, Bo. On a more serious note, another homeless man has disappeared from our city streets, the 12th in less than a month. Police report no new clues and fear that a serial killer, some call the Dogtown Ripper, may be stalking old Detroit's homeless. Good news for Delta City today. Omni Consumer Products announced plans to use cutting-edge technology in a far-reaching project that will automate Delta City's utilities and public transportation infrastructure. I have great hopes uh, for Metronet, a supercomputer that will power this city into a future that not only has a silver lining, but will work better and cost less. But can it program your VCR? We'll be right back. They're flatulent, they're senile, and the best years of their lives are pretty much behind them. If you're over 60, should you still be allowed to vote? Tune in tomorrow and see what's on your mind with me, Umberto Ortega. This just in, a terrorist has taken hostages at a retirement home in Old Detroit. We take you now to the scene live with media break correspondent Charles Coffey. Charles? Yes, Rocky, I'm here at Convalescent Services, and it's not a pretty picture. One officer dead, one wounded, and inside, William Ray Puttface Morgan, the violent psychopath who recently escaped from the Henry Ford Center for the Morally Challenged. He's currently holding a group of helpless retired people hostage. Don't jerk me around, cop! Do what I tell you, or I'll get mad and do something really ugly! You know there's no escape, Morgan. You know we don't negotiate with terrorists. Sarge, he's up there with military hardware. He's got the whole place barricaded. Yeah, and there are two or three of his gang in there who just love us to try a frontal assault. Tell us, Sergeant, just exactly what it is Mr. Morgan wants. Money? A pardon? Perhaps an exclusive interview with me? You know, I wish it was that simple. See, when he was arrested five years ago by RoboCop, he suffered severe damage to his face in a toxic accident of his own making. So what you're saying is, he wants revenge. No, he wants RoboCop. Listen up! You got one minute to send in the robot, or I blow all these bingo streets to kick this cop! Here's the situation. You called me. It's bad.
face, Morgan. Hey, robot. You wanted to talk to me? Nah. I want to kill you. Hands above your head. You are under arrest. Oh, you're too late for that, robot. Take a good look at this face. You did this to me. Every time I sneeze, I think of you. I don't ever want to think of you again. Now what, Tin Man? Police brutality in front of all these prune sacks? Nice job back there, Murphy. Thank you, Madigan. Oh, I took my exam for detective this morning? I don't know for sure, but I think I aced it. The force can always use another good detective. Thank you. Sentimental, irrational, superstitious, compassionate. The main obstacle to running the world properly has always been the human element. Pardon me? You're right about that, Doc. Yes, I tried. I tried to convince those fools at MIT's Futurological Congress. And of course, they had no vision. They threw ethics at me. Well, I should hope so. Well, that'll never happen here at OCP, Doc. This isn't academia. It's corporate culture, baby. We got the money, we got the gas, and we got the guts. After you. Yes, now the real work can begin. Which, of course, means obliterating everything spontaneous. Neurobrain will reduce all decisions to an unimpeachable binary utopia. Yes, no, black, white, on, off. Yes, no, black, white. In short, utter perfection. What about the human spirit? The human spirit. <laughs> My dear chaos, by any other name. Those powers, that will be all. No, no, no. I would very much like to hear what your secretary thinks of my philosophies. Is there something you don't understand? This utopia of yours sounds closer to something a dictator like Hitler would have come up with. I mean, I don't think I'd want to live there. How dare you compare me to don't pay any attention to her, Doc. She's just a secretary. I am a vice president. I'm paid to have opinions, and I think you're brilliant. Yes, Hitler was an amateur. <gasps> As you know, OCP is hosting the upcoming Shareware Expo. Now, we never share anything, but it's a chance to uh, sniff out the competition. Chip? Copernicus. Newton, Einstein, Disney. Geniuses with the credentials to change the world. CyberSafe Concepts has found just such brilliance in the man it is now my pleasure to introduce to you, my fellow executives, Dr. Cray Mallardo. Oh, Chip. <laughs> when my new cybernetic interface neurobrain goes online, life as we know it will be over. Where once a city employed and was victim to the whims of 10,000 civil servants, neurobrain can never go on strike, will not call in sick, and does not need a coffee break every 3.25 hours. <laughs> Imagine 
a city. Where transportation systems, like corpuscles in the bloodstream, move freely with purpose and with speed. Where utilities are dispersed from one central point, a digestive system directing nutrients to hungry organs like schools and hospitals. A law enforcement that efficiently identifies and apprehends criminals like antibodies attacking a virus. It is a bold new world, ladies and gentlemen, and if I have anything to say about it, one that we will be visiting very soon. What's the earliest possible time frame for having Metronet online? Neuro brain portfolio, please. Oh, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! no, 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 no I am no, so sorry! No, no, no! I'm don't, so no, no, sorry! No, don't touch me! Don't ever touch me! No touching! No touching! That's it, Powers. You're fired. Oh. Get out! Nonsense, Chip. Accidents happen. Now, when do you expect to be online? Well, sir, we're pretty much ready to go right now. It's just we have some little bugs to iron out. Excellent. When Camsoft, Mega, Extel, and all the others show up for the Shareware Expo, I want to stand at this window and see my city run by Neurobrain. <laughs> They'll eat their hearts out. What are you doing back in my station again? You've got to lock me up, Sergeant Parks. I'm an immaterial witness. I saw some bank robbers, five or six of them. If you don't get protection, though... No way. You know what? You're going back to family services. You've got to believe me. Please don't make me go back. I hate that place. Please let me stay. I'll be good. Oh, you'll be good. You tell a lie. You run away. You know what you need? What you need is a good spanking. Come here. Help! Child abuse! Help! 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 Results are in, up for 10%. Thank you very much. I knew I aced it. You think I'll make a good detective? You figured out who I was. Heard you trashed another car. Any other little problems I should know about? All systems are functional. Good, because every time you break something, I get blamed for it. Try not to do it with this. Check it out. Whoa, that's a half a piece of road iron. Yeah, it's one of the new interceptors. Zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds, top speed 200 plus, heads up display, map sys, satellite uplink, and a lot of other goodies that cost more than I make in a year. Well, let us take it for a ride, shall we? Oh. Hi, me. He's coming, take me away. Whoa, Robocop. You're my hero. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, Dad. Hey, hey, no kids allowed. It's okay, that's okay. Ease up, Charlie. No one's gonna hurt you. What's your name, little one? Gadget. She's a runaway from family services, and she's going back there right now. This is a police station, it's not an orphanage. No, no, I don't wanna go back there, no. You were thinking about him again, weren't you? Images are all that's left of what I was. I want to remember. Murphy, why don't you just tell Nancy and Jimmy who you are? No. It's better that they think I am dead. No, no. No, no, tell the electricians I want the main trunk brought in under the floor here. Okay. All right, Doc, I don't care what it takes, just as long as Neurobrain is online in time for the Shareware Expo. 
Ah, uh, we still have a problem. Oh, not again. Geez, what's it been so far, Doc? Twelve? Trial is the only way to eliminate error, you know? You know me. I'll do anything to get ahead, but isn't this getting a bit ridiculous? Nonsense, Chip. The interface between the decision-making complexity of the human mind and the computing power of artificial intelligence is a delicate matter now. You know what I need. And the sooner I get it, the sooner you'll meet your deadline, right? Just do it. <laughs> you can't keep running forever, old man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get him, Get him, boys! Please, I ain't done nothing. I was just minding my own business. You got no right to. It's people like you that make people like us mad. It's people like, like us who keep people like you in line. You got that. I ain't got nothing but the clothes on my back. What do you fellas want from me? Huh? It's obvious that you never have used your brain to its fullest advantage. What? Hold him, boys. No. No. No! Let him go. He's not going far. <sighs> It's looking pretty stiff. <laughs> now cut that out. That's not funny. He's not dead yet. And it's no good to OCP if he's damaged at all. Now get him in the trunk. There's still a place where shelter is provided, no matter what your race, creed, color, or gender. Please support the Rainbow Playroom, and remember to hug the children. Has the Dogtown Ripper claimed another victim? Police fear that the disappearance of Henry Aaron Winkler will end up as yet another unsolved murder, many believe to be the work of the elusive serial killer. At City Hall, Mayor Friendly had this to say. Police investigators have assured me that these rumors of a serial killer are utterly unfounded. No bodies have been found, no witnesses have come forward. And I really think we should consider the fringe lifestyles of the indigents involved as a possible source of the problem. Yeah. Come on, Sarge, I saw old Hank playing chess every day for five years on that corner. I knew him too, Madigan. What do you want from me? He has been missing for 24 hours. Homicide hasn't even assigned anybody to the case. Now, his friend said the last time they saw him, he was headed for the shelter, right? Now, to get there, he's got to cut through the old tire plant. Look, when you make detective, it is going to be a sorry day for the criminal element in Detroit. But until then, there's this little thing called departmental protocol. Come on, Sarge. If the victim was some butthead beep at OCP, the whole department would be on this case. But no, since old Hank doesn't pay property taxes, nobody cares. Are you getting personally involved? All I know is somebody ought to give a damn, Sarge. I know we've done it. What? What'd you see? The Dogtown Ripper. I saw him get some guy. He was wearing a suit and he had a, a shot thing like a doctor uses. Is that so? Yeah, and he had some accomplishments with him. You mean accomplices? Yeah, that too. You know what? You're a very good little witness. I'm impressed. I got some mug shots. I want you to take a look and tell me if you recognize anybody. Male, female. Now look real close. Hey, let me go! Give me a hand. You ain't gonna run away again. See that. Put your finger. The other one. You ought to be ashamed of yourself lying about other people's bad luck. But I'm not lying. Yeah, all right. All right, which one of you guys is gonna take her back to family services? 
Hey, Robocop. I got a job for you. Trouble? If she stays on the street, yeah. She's headed for real trouble. Take her back to family services, will you? She's a compulsive liar and a runaway. I don't want to go back there. No one's ever going to adopt me. Let's go, little one. Shaken. Sorry about the mess, Doc. It's just that when his eyes started staring up at you like that, then the bone saw. I've told you many times it is essential for the neural brain interface that the subject be alive when the brain is removed. You see, as I... Please, Doc, don't... I... How'd it go? Well, the transplant into the neural receptacle was flawless, but that has never been the problem. Get rid of the husk. <laughs> Bodies in the trunk. Take it to the Toxic Waste Disposal Center and oxidize it like you did the others. You know, usually we hate people like you. But you kill people we hate. You hate real good. Thank you. That's what I like most about business. Money makes friends out of almost anybody. Because you lied. But I'm not lying now. It was a Dogtown Ripper, and I saw what he did to that poor old man. Poor old man. Tell me what you saw. Some Dogtown boys helped the old man so the Ripper could give him a shot. He looked dead, but he wasn't. His eyes were still alive. What did the Ripper look like? He was tall, but not too tall. He had brown hair. And he was wearing a suit. Did he say anything? He said he needed the old man's brain. Why? I, I don't know. Something for the OCP. Do you believe me? Yes. A good citizen always tells the truth, right? Right. But what if somebody acts like a good citizen but lies anyways? That's the worst kind of liar. Come on, I want to show you something. Now listen to me, you useless little brat. Act cute. I don't care if the building falls down around you, you're going to act cute. You know what happens to troublemakers. I send him to live with the Dogtown boys. All right, that's it. Roll camera. Are we rolling? God, we better be rolling. God, yes. That's it. Hold the tight close. That up. spontaneous expression. Better than anything you get from these brats when you ask them to act. Jeez. All right, that's it. OK? So now we cut that face with the bowls of food and the crowd shots from Bangladesh, and we got a new intro for the show. OK, people, that's a wrap. Ms. Lamour, there is a woman here, a parent with a lost child. I tried to tell her. Oh, I do not have time for another maudlin display of parental loss. OK, let's make it quick. This is where Faye and Lamour tells the biggest lies there ever were. My dear, I feel your pain. I'm worried about my son, Jimmy. I yelled at him about his grades, and he ran away. 
I thought maybe he came here. To death do us part. I, I brought a video that I made last Christmas. He's a good boy. But we lost his father a while ago. And it's been hard to raise him by myself. I really have to tell you something. I love you very much. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. How about a smile? Is there a smile about me? This is for you, Dad. I know every child here, and I'm sorry to say he's not with us. Edward, please take down this poor woman's information in case her child does show up here. Bon, bon, if you will excuse me, I really must go be with the children. It's story time. What's the matter? I have to go. Somewhere there is a crime happening. Stop it, Chip. I'm not in the mood. I just had a mother in here whose son was one of those brats your Dogtown associates recruited. Our arrangement is starting to make me very nervous. Hey, what's the word? You got kids that are too old to be adopted, and I need kids that can get their hands dirty instead of me. It's win-win, baby K. Family services must never be associated with the Dogtown boys. What if he talks? Oh, who's gonna believe a Dogtown boy? And you know how it is in those gangs. Either you're in or you're kibble. You know what I mean? Well, I'll leave the testosterone management up to you, Chip. That's the ticket, baby. So, how about it? My place? Tomorrow? Sexercise? Beg for it. Kissy, lovey, dovey, sugar, sweetie, honey, pumpkin pie. I'll be there at noon. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, Dad. Murphy, why don't you just tell Nancy and Jimmy who you are? He's a good boy. But we lost his father a while ago. <laughs> he signed the release forms when he joined the force. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. He's a machine. He doesn't have a memory. He has a program. <laughs> Hate everyone. Are you always right while everyone else is always wrong? Join the dog. <sighs> People like us. Coupling nine nine oh five six four six. Uplink phone trace complete. Location one six eight Alger Avenue. Ecoli Brothers meet. 
The cerebral cortex can both process information and learn from its mistakes, but a computer is quicker and more reliable than the human brain. So, why not have the best of both worlds? A brain married to a computer. It's beautiful. Yes. Yes! Yes! Neurobrain is a living machine. The flux is its life force. This means we're going to be online in time for Shareware Expo. <laughs> I can't wait to see my bonus. Doc, you're going to be able to write your own ticket. A chair at MIT. Science advisor to the White House. Small potatoes, Chaykin. The city of tomorrow will be modeled after Delta City. Ergo, <laughs> the man who controls Delta City controls the future. And with Neurobrain at my command, I can do anything! I can even make you number one at OCP. Oh. Yes, I could. And I will. You said this one was intelligent. Hey, he was a chess player. You gotta be smart to do that. What do you think went wrong, Doc? Well, there's only one explanation, isn't there? A bad brain, a brain damaged by stress and human abuse. It couldn't bear the load, could well, it? If you don't get this thing working by shareware, we're the ones who are gonna be damaged by stress and human what we abuse. Need is, a, is, a, is a young brain, a fresh brain, a brain not yet corrupted by life. Excuse me, Mr. Chaykin, but I found something significant in the Himple digital plagiarism suit. They actually stole our program and rewrote it to make it look like it was their idea. I'm sorry to interrupt, Dr. Milardo, but I thought Mr. Chaykin would want to know. That's all right, then. That's, 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 uh, that's quite out. Look, would you excuse us? Just a moment, please. Come have a look around. Good work, Miss Powers. You've just earned yourself a bonus. Listen up. Everybody that listens to the message gets a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And white bread, of course. Eat up, Murphy. What, you ain't hungry? Smells like something died in here. I don't smell nothing. Except maybe some new dog meat. <laughs> Bear your throats to the biggest dog of all. Somebody broke the square! Who broke the square, big dog? Your parents and their idiot politicians. They said there was enough to go around. They let the foreigners in. They squandered your future to poor people and bums. They shortchanged you. Man, they stole your freedom! Those days are over! Corporate America has finally answered their wake-up call and joined us in our fight for a better tomorrow. With their help, we've already begun to clean up the homeless vermin that polluted old Detroit. So, who will join us? Who wants to make the square hole? Make the square hole! Make the square hole! Make the square hole! Make the square hole! Where are you going, little dog? I heard your message, and your message sucks. I'm out of here. You're not one of us. You're Kimball. Boys that don't play nice don't get to play at all. Drop the bat! Drop the bat!
cause of death? Well, offhand, I have to say he died because uh, somebody removed his brain. What, like some kind of satanic ritual or something? No, I don't know. This wasn't your usual ax him up, hack him up, psycho torture murder. This is the work of a doctor. A doctor? Yeah, it had to be. His blood showed traces of tubal carrere and chloride. It's a neurological agent. Used to paralyze patients so they don't go flipping around during delicate surgical procedures. Right, right. That's what the lab said was in this. I found it where Hank was last seen. He looked dead, but he wasn't. His eyes were still alive. What's he doing? The last image the deceased saw is often preserved on the back of the retina. Wait a sec, you mean we might be able to ID old Hank's murder? Unless his eyes were looking someplace else. Then you got nothing. It's not clear. what I tell you? But it can be enhanced. Great. I'll have OCP forensics check out the shipping crate. I can't keep this up much longer. No, we've only been aerobic for eight minutes. Don't wimp out on me now. Come on, baby. I'm beefed. Just do it. Hello? Who is it? Who do you think? Doc, you calm down. I can't understand a thing you're saying. This is a catastrophe. That's right. Just take a deep breath. Atta boy. Very cool. Okay. Now, what is the matter? You are a stupid, worthless imbecile. You said you'd take care of everything? Well, guess what? Robocop's on the case. Robocop? <laughs> Doc, this is not going to be a problem. I know the perfect man to take care of Robocop. This is highly unusual, Mr. Chicken. What's the problem, Warden? This transfer was approved by OCP. Do you want me to get your boss on the phone? Oh, no, 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 that won't be necessary. But just out of curiosity, what exactly is CyberSafe Concepts planning to do with Delta City's most dangerous criminal? Have you ever heard of Dr. Cray Mollardo, the brilliant cyberneticist? Dr. Mollardo has taken a personal interest in the plight of disturbed psychopaths like this poor fellow. Perhaps with time, study, and a modicum of human kindness, Mr. Morgan might one day be able to make a meaningful contribution to the community. Would you like that, Mr. Morgan? All I ever wanted was a chance to be good. Two. A better understanding of the criminal mind. I always get bubbles up my nose. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Now, you wouldn't have got me out of there if you didn't want something. How right you are. And what I want is to give you an opportunity to go down in history. 
as the man who killed Robocop. 40 millimeter, armor piercing, Cobra assault cannon. Nice. State of the art, Budface. May I call you Budface? Sure thing, poodle boy. Wait a sec. Did I hear you right, partner? Cray Millard of the scientist? He's OCP. You be careful. According to the retinal scan, he was the last person to see the victim alive. I'm on my way. Dr. Cremo Lardo, you're under arrest. Uh, I don't I don't understand. What are the charges? The suspicion of murder. Murder? Murder? Why, that's ludicrous. I'm a scientist. My work benefits all mankind. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Oof! Oh, no! God. No, please! Don't hit me again! No! Ah! No! Uh, excuse me, officer. I'd like to report a crime in progress. Where? About right where you're standing. See you in hell, Robocop! <laughs> nice shooting puddles! so long, you don't know what I've been through. Come on, Doc! <laughs> Drive! Hey it's time for... Commander Cash! Rampant crime, moral decay, the city's going to heck! But what can we do? You can come with me! Commander Cash! Fight crime with a strong economy. And these... Credit cards! Be a superhero! Be a super shopper! <laughs> the OCP Supercard. No annual membership fee and still at the low, low 38% annual interest rate. The people of Detroit lost a hero yesterday when RoboCop was destroyed in a criminal ambush by escaped psychopath William Ray Pudface Morgan. But today, RoboCop's illustrious crime-fighting reputation was tarnished by allegations of police misconduct. No, I don't know what he wanted, but he was out of control, as is abundantly clear from the videotape that I turned over to the authorities. Media Break has obtained a copy of this tape. We want to warn our more sensitive viewers that they may find the following images disturbing. No, no, no. At Public Works, Chip Chaikin, Vice President, CyberSafe Concepts, had this to say. We here at OCP would like everybody to try to remember the good things about RoboCop and not let this truly unfortunate final episode tarnish what otherwise has been a sterling career. Rest in peace, Robocop. Oh, Uh, yeah. He's, um... Is he dead? Yeah. The way the suits are talking, he might as well be. I was able to preserve his organics, but it'll cost a fortune to bring him back online. And according to the guy on the right, OCP's not paying. Lippincott! 
What do you mean OCP is not paying for this? This man did mortified crime in this city than any other police officer in its history. Who are you? Officer Lisa Madigan. He was my friend and my partner. Well, that says a lot about the pathetic state of your social life. You see, that is not a man. That is a machine. And the machine belongs to OCP. Now, why don't you be a good cop and go and busy yourself with some sort of police work? I have reason to believe that Dr. Cremolardo, the man Robocop had under arrest, may be involved in several homicides. Now, what do you think about that? That is absurd. Dr. Milardo is a scientist of unimpeachable integrity. I know him personally. Oh, well, then maybe you can explain why the body in the morgue with no brain has a latent image of Milardo on its retina. Body? I don't know anything about bodies. I'm an executive. This is just another example of the police trying to blame the victim. We'll see about that. I can't believe you let the cops find that old bum's body. Hey, it was a glitch. But it's been handled, for sure, this time. The body and the eyeball are toast. <laughs> I'm sure that all of us gathered here today have experienced their share of gridlock. <laughs> in the workplace, on the highways, even in our own homes. But today represents an end to all that. A brave new world where things work the way they were meant to, in the service of their creators. Without further ado, Metronet. Lights, please. An entire city under the control of a single powerful computer, Neurobrain. There he goes, look at him. <laughs> Doing what he does best, taking credit for other people's work. The idiot, I, his lack of vision is appalling. He really believes that Neurobrain was built to run traffic lights. Well, oh, let him have his little day in the sun. It will be his last. Oh, my God! What? What? What's the matter? I... I saw my secretary. M my former secretary? I saw her face in there! Chip, 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 come here. Chip, come here. Come on, come on, Chip. Listen to me, Chip. Men who seek to change the world cannot afford the luxury of a guilty conscience. It's all in your mind, Chip. It's all in your mind. Yes, now. Now! It's time to show the OCP chairman who has the whip hand. Well, the show's over at OCP. Now, time for dinner. Little drinkies, little shop talk, maybe even a little hanky-fanky in the hot tub with Miss Wappenhopper from the home office. <laughs> this Metronet thing looks big. We've got a prototype in the works, but frankly, we can't crack the hardware. <laughs> and hard to believe a second rater like Mallardo pulled it off. I think I've ever met a more pompous guy. What's his problem? He's got his head stuck firmly where the sun doesn't shine. You know what I mean? Oh, that remark will cost you. teach you that at the Harvard Business School. Murderers! Did you hear that? Now you have me imagining things. Old Hank is ashes and so is the evidence. Case is fried, Murphy. 
sure could use your help right about now. Ah, come in, Dr. Malardo. I wanted to thank you personally. That was quite a demonstration you put on last night. Yes, well, it was entirely for your benefit. My Metronet is a glowing success. I was referring to the mishap with the elevator. The elevator? You had something to do with that? Yes, yes, I had everything to do with it, old man. Everything in the world. You see, I control Nero Brain. Neurobrain controls your Metronet, and Metronet controls, well, everything, including the elevators. You catch my drift? You're not implying. Yes, I am. I am. I am implying. From this moment forward, I control the destiny of Delta City. You have 36 hours to draw up the necessary papers and make our new arrangement legal. Never. I will never allow you or anyone else to usurp the authority I have worked so hard to maintain. Oh. Um. Gee. <laughs> oh, I must one, one, uh, one thing. You should take the stairs on your way out tonight, sir. Or that just might be your final answer. Malardo's computer has invaded every system at OCP. He's locked us out of all our files, and he's got fiscal control of the entire company. What kind of options do we have? I wish I could tell you. If we bring in the cops, the SEC will demand full disclosure. Oh, terrific. That means I'd have to face the stockholders. I hope you gentlemen are enjoying day one of my little siege. I know I am. And if you don't comply with my demands, tomorrow will be much much worse. There must be some way to stop him! <laughs> uh, oh, gee. OCP does without its executive staff. Someone, the least you could do is remember their name. It's fantastic. Your brain is in there, and you, if you can still be called you, I don't know, maybe you can't well know, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You are busy performing thousands of tasks simultaneously all over the city. Like what kind of tasks? Well, running the subways, the hospitals. Water treatment plants, the, the, the electric company, the airports, you name it, you're running it. I'm running the entire city? Hmm. Yes, I knew I was executive material. Okay, if my brain isn't there, where's the rest of me? Ah, yes. Well, um, you see, with your brain gone, the rest of your body was quite useless and it was, uh, it was, uh, d disposed of. Disposed of? Disposed of, yes. That was a perfectly good body. No wrinkles, no stretch marks, very little cellulite. Do you know how I starve myself? I haven't even had dessert in a year. When I get out of here, I'm gonna kill you! Well, fortunately for me, you can't get out of there. I mean, not alive, anyway. 
Then I'll crash the city board and take me with it. Just think about what you would be doing. You, I mean, all the traffic accidents, the looting, the chaos. I mean, not to mention all those poor, little, sick babies on life support systems and hospitals all over the city. Babies? Little, little babies. What are you trying to pull? Well, check your memory banks. You're right. There are currently 35 infants in critical condition in 16 metropolitan city hospitals. And they are all dependent on you. I'm not gonna listen to you anymore. I didn't ask for this kind of responsibility. You poor, poor baby. You have more power than any woman who has ever lived, and you want to go back to being somebody's secretary. You don't deserve your fate. Sarge, I gotta talk to you. There's something weird going on in the Ripper case. What are you, looking for trouble? You were ordered to stay out of there. Sarge, just hear me out, okay? Robo told me he had evidence linking Dr. Cray Milardo to the Dogtown murders. And the other day, I run into this little beep creep named Chaikin who gets real nervous when I ask him about the good doctor. Well, I guess that explains this, huh? What's this? Looks like you ruffled a few feathers at OCP. Traffic? Come on, Sarge. What is this? I just aced the test for detective. Yeah, but you flunked departmental politics protocol, Madigan. Rule number one, never, ever let the brass know you're smarter than they are. That's a crock. Metro South. Such a perks. I want to report a crime. This better not be who I think it is. Says she's taking care of kids. But she's really sent them off to Dogtown. She's a liar in the first degree. <gasps> Takes one to know one, huh, kid? I'm not a liar anymore. I'm a good citizen now, honest. Hey, you! Get away from the phone! I wish I could help you, little one. Get in there with the other children and watch TV like you're supposed to. Five doctors at the Omni Mediplex recommended to stop diarrhea. <laughs> Try no go. They're lean, they're mean, and they're your Marines. Marines posing nude for charity. The Corps says no, but what do you think? And if naked, sweaty Marines aren't your thing, then phone in and tell me what's on your mind. Hey, I am so sorry to bust an on you like this. I'm Officer Lisa Madigan. I'm a friend of Robocop. Right, you, you just hey. Wait, wait. The police are always welcome at Omni Consumer Products. What can I do for you, Officer? Robocop has evidence that will incriminate Dr. Cray Milardo in the Dogtown Murders. You've got to put him back online or a killer goes free. Can a felon run a publicly held company? Well, no, sir. That would be against the law. Sir, what are you doing? OCP will assist the Detroit Police Department in their investigation of Dr. Milardo. But to ensure the safety of all OCP employees, I think it prudent to allow Milardo to think he has won. Doc! We got big trouble. Wait, Doc! No, no, listen, this is important. No, Robocop is being put you back online. I need I, you to I, help me figure out how to monkey I said this. shut up! I think it can wait. It's I don't think she'll be able to hear us in here. Who? Your ex-secretary, that's who. Diana Powers? She's dead! Not exactly. And so there you are, my friend. The frontiers of science are full of surprises. What we have here is a new form of intelligence, a completely unique melding of human and machine. It's, it's a miracle. I say we kill it. Yes, well. Of course, but 
carefully. The trick is to exterminate the ghost without harming the delicate neurobrain interface here. Yeah. How are you gonna do that? Darn it! I don't know, uh, the Miller board shot. I've got to trade out his pulmonary filters and the replacements aren't here yet on account of they got to come from the factory in Japan. And, well, there's the frame damage. Can you do it? Well, I guess with some luck. Yes, sir, I believe we can. Then get to it. <sighs> you heard what the man said. Let's go. Power him up. He had a tough day, but he's responding now. We can have him online in the next 24 hours. But right now, he needs a sleep cycle. So do you. <laughs> We're all pulling for you, son. We're counting on you to set things right. Hi there. How we doing, bucket boy? You know, it's my understanding that you're in possession of certain information that could lead to the conviction of one Dr. Cray Malardo. That's a robo no-no. Let's see what 50 million Zoidengausses can do to help your total recall. Turn him on. Huh. It's very exciting. <laughs> How soon after we get the statement can you move on Malarda? Well, we've got a judge standing by to sign the warrant, a team of detectives to make the arrest an hour, tops. All right, bring him up to full power. He's online. Hey, how you feeling? Welcome back to Metro South. <laughs> Tell us everything you know about Cray Malardo. Hey. Are you all right? Who are you? Lippenka? There's nothing wrong with the circuits. Uh, it's got to be organic. I've just signed my company over to a madman. Madigan, you assured me Robocop could incriminate him. What's wrong with him? Well, it looks to me like it's cognitive delta wave degeneration. Will you please speak English, Lippenka? Amnesia. I'm ruined. Who am I? Frustrating, Sarge. I can't stand it. Somebody's getting away with murder and we got nothing. Look, without a witness or some kind of physical evidence, no judge will issue a warrant for Malardo. Okay, let's make a case, all right? Some Dogtown boy at the crash pad where I found old Hank's body was bragging about some deal with OCP. Dogtown. That orphan kid Gadget told me a crazy story about a suit with a syringe attacking some old guy in Dogtown. Well, then maybe that's not so crazy because the hypo cartridge I found had a Schedule One chemical in it that only a doctor could have access to. Malardo. Malardo. Now, why would he be killing homeless people in old Detroit? Well, if we could answer that question, we'll crack this case wide open. All right, I'll pay a visit to Family Services and have a little talk with my orphan friend. That's great. You know, I tagged one of those punks the other night. I'll hit the streets, I'll scan every Dogtown I know, maybe we could turn a witness. Right, cut it open. Oh. I have designed a virus to clear out neurobrain. Unfortunately, there will be a few side effects, brownouts, blackouts, and generally speaking, a complete breakdown in law and order. Doc, that's rough. How long is that gonna last? Well, it depends on how much cyberspace she occupies. <sighs> now listen, Chip, I am concerned that my enemies at OCP and in the police department might use the coming chaos to mount an assault against me. Come on, 
Doc? Robocop is toast. You've won. I need protection. So in your latest project, Fried Green Lasagna, it seems you've taken a stand against gratuitous violence. What's that all about? Boy, is this place a dump. Humberto, the modern man's got to get in touch with his feminine side, you know? I have found the child in question. Gadget, but she's only eight years old, and I'm afraid it's past her bedtime. I'll have to ask you to come back tomorrow. What is going on here? Come on, I got a movie star here! Bertle, Bertle, boy, do I have a story for you. Hey! Whoa, whoa, okay, all right. What's, what's the story you got here, then? What? I live in family services. It's really a nasty place. Yeah. I guess I know where my little friend learned how to lie. Got business with the big guy here. Be my guest. Um, hi there. Um, we don't really know each other, and this is kind of a strange way to meet, but um, I have a feeling that we've got a lot in common. Wow, someone really messed you up in here. Let me take a look. There's a problem. I remember. I'm at Public Works. The same guy who tried to kill you is trying to kill me. Please, come as fast as you can. Wait a second, tell me about Milardo. Milardo's wanted for murder. What'd you hear? Ah, this way. Did, did I miss something? Murder. Murder. Face, he's in charge. Hey, I don't know anything about this guy. What are his politics? Does he even know what we stand for? Do as I say, or I'll kill you. How do you like them politics? Yes. Jim, Jim, Jim. These guys have their minds tied to their behinds. If the heat gets turned up, their butter is going to melt. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. They're going to be the bait. You're going to be the hook. Now, Security Concepts manufacture some pretty nifty light artillery that'll make you look like a one-man army. Come on, you want to see it? Just a minute. All right. I like you. You're all very good boys. I don't care how you do it. Don't let anyone in that door. Do you understand? Yeah. Very good. Come on, boys. Let's make this square hole! Ears up! This is big time now, doggies. OCP's got a special job for us. All right, we're gonna take on the cops, man. Hey, look! Hey, it's the Murphy kid! There's the Weasley traders. So they're just yeah, out. there he is. Get him! Make dog meat out of him! You're dead, kid! Okay, let's go, boys. Build the fort. Build the army. Build a new square! Yeah! yeah, he's a snake. Eat my shorts, Rose Bag. Jeez! Please hold it! Drop the guns! I face down on the ground now! Drop all of you now! On the ground! Central, send a port a perp to Edsel and Nader. Tagger ID number 6684, Officer Madigan, Lisa, Dogtown Incident, 
March 6, 2100 hours. All right. What'd you do to make him so mad? I don't know. I don't want to join their stupid gang. What's your name, tough guy? Jimmy. Jimmy Murphy. I know you. Your dad was a cop, right? Alex Murphy. Yeah, but he got killed. I sure messed up my mom. I know your mom, too, Nancy. So I wonder what your dad would think if you knew his son turned out to be a dogtown boy. I'm no dogtowner. I went to family services because I didn't want to live with my mom anymore. Some counselor there told me I was right for the dogtown boys. All right, listen. I want you to come down the station and talk to my sergeant, all right? You gonna put me in jail? <laughs> Not if you have a place to stay. Good to throw a tantrum. It's too late for that now. No, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Man can work all his life to create something truly magnificent, and all it takes is one woman to completely screw it up. This particular virus uses a transcendental number to seek out and delete all non essential data. Oh, that's you, by the way. Down here to get me. You must like me. Yeah. Maybe starting to grow on me. Beta 10, come in. Beta 10, code 1. Beta 10, I'm on the air, go. Beta 10, we have a class 5 unusual occurrence. Citywide massive power failure with widespread looting potential. Beta 10, if it can walk and talk, I want it in uniform and I want it on the street now. Roger, Beta 10. All units, all frequencies, stand by. We have a citywide unusual occurrence. Metro South units switch to TAC-1. Blackouts and power failures in zones 2, 5, and 6. Numerous reports of looting. Roger, Baker 7, 1038 and Daly and Norman, code 3. Tactical units, all frequencies, seven. We have lines and all powers failed in zone 5. Alpha 4. 1043 and Vega and O. Shots fired. Look, shoot, doggies. We're going to howl tonight. The cops try to get by us. That's the build the wall. Let's go. Soak it good. Pour that gas on. Make the square strong. All right. Torch it. Quietly, or there will be trouble. Let him have it!
go back to school. Oblivion is not as dreadful as it sounds. Morgan. In your dreams, robot! I'm gonna open you up like a tin can, tin man! Do me a favor. Call your mom, huh? Let's go. Come on. Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Yeah, it's a lucky shot, you sack of bolts. Come on, let's go. Move it. It's a light for you, fella. Let's go. Hey, watch me. Watch it. She's gone. 
killed her. I had to kill her twice, but the shrew is finally dead. You are under arrest. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Not again. She's There's never a guy like you around when I was still a girl. Glad to be of assistance, ma'am. Oh. Excuse me. I have to arrest Dr. Malardo. Don't worry. He won't get far. Hang on, there we go. Uh, oh, oh, don't shoot. Chip taken, OCP. Boy, am I glad to see you fellas. This is the creep I told you about. That's Milardo's friend. Yes, I guess we can safely say that Dr. Milardo had us all fooled. Thank God for Robocop, anyway. He's in there kicking ass right now. It's him. Who's him? The dog down Ripper. I don't know what you're talking about. But I do know you're lying. He's the one who gave old Hank a shot. I think she's telling the truth. Madigan, your case, your collar. My pleasure. You are under arrest, big shot. Now, nobody moves, or she gets it. Listen to me carefully. I'm going to the airport, and I'm getting on an airplane. Drop it. Stay back, you big pile of deadbolts! Yes, shoot him, Robert! I mean it, stay back, or I turn Miss Piggy here into a statue! I don't get personal penalties! Hey, hey. Oh, great. Go, oh, stop! Sure, your OCP does not condone any of Mr. Chaikin's actions. We feel he's been under a lot of stress. No, she's coming. I know she's coming. Oh, mommy! It's sad, really, the criminal mind. The guilt must build until it rips them apart at the seams. I suppose. Well, excuse me. I've got a company to run. Helmet, please. Well, I guess it's time to get you back to family services, huh? No, I hate that place. Well, I guess that means somebody's going to have to adopt you. Oh. OK, come on, come on. He must be here. He called me. Sorry, ma'am, no one's here. Nancy, over here. Madigan! It's all right, let her through. Have you seen Jimmy? He's fine. He's fine. He's right over there in my car. Oh, Jimmy. I was so worried about you. Don't worry, Mom. I'm okay.
How about now, Murph? No. They need a husband and a father. I can't be that. They're your family, Murphy. Yes. And I can protect them. At Metro South today, they were handing out gold shields to the lucky few who managed to make the rank of detective, including the spunky young officer who solved the Dogtown Ripper case. We'll be back with more Media Break right after this. The Rainbow Playroom. Pleasant, cheerful, but take another look. Beneath this cotton candy facade, this so-called paradise for lost and lonely children is in fact a grim gulag presided over by this uncaring and ruthless administrator, Fanny Lamour. The beloved children's show host resigned as vice president of OCP's Family Services Division following the allegations of gross misconduct. We'll have the whole sordid story for you right here tonight with me, Umberto Ortega. And finally, order has been restored throughout Detroit tonight after one of the most chaotic incidents in this city's history. A blue ribbon panel appointed by Mayor Friendly has determined that a computer glitch inadvertently turned off all the city's utilities. Machines. Can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> <laughs> 